Hey guys, today we're gonna to show you how to install Windows 10 from a USB flash drive. So the first thing you need to do is from a working computer or the computer that you're gonna reinstall Windows on is Google Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. If you want a direct link, I'll have it down in the description. So you'll go to Windows 10 Media Creation Tool, you'll Look to make sure you're going to the right link here. It shouldn't change, but just in case, that's why I like to Google it. So we can see here that we want to download the tool. And this will download the media creation tool. We'll open that. It's going to ask us if we want to allow it to make changes to our computer. We want to click yes. And this is going to download the tool. It's going to take a few minutes to get things ready. We're going to want to go ahead and accept the license. Now we want to choose if we want to upgrade this current PC or create the installation media. This can be a USB flash drive, which is what we're going to use, the DVD or an ISO file. So we'll go ahead and click that. Click Next. We can have it select the recommended settings or you can choose them yourself. I usually do both architectures just in case I'm using it on an older machine and need to do 32-bit but for most cases you can just choose 64-bit. Go ahead and click next and now you want to choose whether you want it to be an ISO file which is an, a file that's on your computer or a USB flash drive. In most cases if you have a flash drive plugged in it should recognize it. Some flash drives are recognized as portable hard drives. In that case, you would want to use the ISO file and then use the program in the card to then take that ISO file and put it on a USB drive. And we've got another video on that, how to take an ISO file and put it as a, on a flash drive. So look in the description for that. But if it's a regular flash drive that's not recognized as a external hard drive, then you can just select the drive, click next. It's going to erase everything on the drive and turn this into a Windows 10 bootable USB drive. So we'll let this do its thing and we will then show you how to install it on the computer itself. So now that the flash drive is ready, we can go ahead and click finish. It's going to go ahead and clean up a few things on your computer. And now we can take the flash drive and put it in the computer that we're installing on. In this case, it's a new machine, but you could also do it on the existing machine and just restart the machine and boot from the drive. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the camera and we'll show you this new install. We don't have any software on the machine, so the video will not be as nice as normal, but we'll go ahead and switch over to it. So now we've got our flash drive all installed with Windows 10. So we'll go ahead and stick it in the computer. And then we'll power on the computer. So because during the media creation tool, we chose that we wanted both architectures put on, we can select if we want a 32-bit or a 64-bit. So we'll go ahead and select 64-bit. Now we need to select our default Windows settings. So we choose our language setting, our time and currency settings, and the keyboard setting. So we'll leave those all the same for here. Then we need to go ahead and click Install Now. If you have the product key, go ahead and enter it. I don't have mine just yet, so I'm going to click I don't have a product key. This is going to allow us to pick which version of Windows to install. By entering a product key, it will automatically select the right version for you. But I'm going to go ahead and s install Windows 10 Pro. And we'll have links to everything that you can purchase down in the description to help you pick the right version of Windows. So we need to go ahead and accept the user's license. And now I need to choose whether we want to upgrade the installation or custom. I always do custom. No matter what type of install I'm doing, I always just format the drive and reinstall Windows. So here, if we had different partitions, we could delete them or format them. 
And in this case, we have a brand new drive, so we just select the unallocated space and click Next. This is going to go ahead and take all of the information from the USB drive and copy it to the hard drive. It's then going to get the files ready to install, install, update, and finish things up. Depending on the speed of your computer, the speed of the hard drive, and the speed of the USB drive, this can take a different amount of time. Usually takes 5 to 10 minutes for most modern computers. So now we need to go ahead and select which region we're in. We need to select the keyboard layout again. We can choose to add a second layout or we can just have the one. Now we can select the Wi-Fi connection or we can skip this for now or we can have an Ethernet connection. If we did have an Ethernet connection, it would automatically skip this screen. We'll go ahead and skip it for now. And then we need to put the name of the user. So this is going to be for the user account. And we'll go ahead and just put user. And now we can create a password. We'll go ahead and leave this blank. We need to decide if we're using Cortana. We'll go ahead and click yes. These are the privacy settings. We'll go ahead and just leave everything at default. And we're just a few more minutes away from being inside of Windows. So now you can see we're inside of Windows. Everything is ready to go. We can do additional steps to install software or check the drivers. But if you do have questions on how to do something like that on your machine, go ahead and leave a comment down below. This video is just to show you how to install Windows. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you have questions on how to do something on your computer, leave a comment down below or hit me up at trenchtech.co. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video.